Hello everyone, let's install a new Bosch or Siemens dishwasher today. And for that, you're going to need a few tools, a pliers, a channel locks, a wrench, a screwdriver, possibly a drill, a tape measure, and it's always nice to have some good work gloves. This is the new dishwasher already installed and it's one of the fancier Bosch ones that comes with this really cool unit on top where you can put your silverware. The first thing that we've got to do is, of course, remove power. Then we're going to have to remove water supply. So we'll just close that up. Finally, we're going to have to remove this part here to put onto our new dishwasher. Let's go ahead and remove both the water supply that's going to the dishwasher, as well as the sewage water going from the dishwasher here down the drain. Okay, so let's first remove the drain here. You're gonna need a pliers for that. So let's just squeeze this hose clamp together and move it off that joint. And now we can pull that up and off of there. To reduce water and odor, you can stuff a paper towel in there, just like that, and set that off to the side. Now we have to remove here the water source, so. For that, you're going to need a channel locks. And again, always have a towel or something on the bottom to catch any water that may still be in the system. Let's shut off the water supply here as well. In fact, it's going to be easier just to remove it here first. Make sure to keep this green washer, that's important. Now we've got better access. So now we can take our channel locks and just remove this aqua stop from the supply line. Okay, and now that we've got the power, the sewage coming from the dishwasher, as well as the water going to the dishwasher all removed, the next step is that we can remove the dishwasher itself. But before we do that, let's go ahead and remove this plate here. So we're going to remove these screws on the top. And then there's also a screw here in the middle. I think it's still held on with some Velcro. Okay, in this case, there are also a couple of Velcro strips on the back. So you just have to pull the board out from the side and then you can lift up and now it's removed. This is also a good chance to clean the board. Ooh as well as your dishwasher door. So the next step that we have to do is just remove the brackets here. There's a few screws on each side. And now we can pull out the dishwasher. Now you gotta be careful pulling it out that the hoses don't get stuck. I'm just going to feed the hoses through. I suggest tying all this stuff up with a tie strap so that it doesn't move anywhere when you're on your way to the dump. That ain't going anywhere. And that way you don't have a leak on your way to the dump. One thing I would recommend doing before you install your new dishwasher is measure out the height of your previous one so that you can set up your new dishwasher to about the same height before installing it. So we're at 85 and a half centimeters. And so we are here set at about 85 and a half as well. This is what the dishwasher all comes with. Some screws here for mounting the board on the front power cord, of course. It comes with these mounting plates, as well as the screws that go to them, along with some other accessories, which we'll come to later. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna remove the hoses from this holder, and we can discard this. This is just for transport. And we're going to remove the hose here with the aqua stop, just like that, perfect. And now we can attach the power cord, which is on these new models, very convenient. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to feed the sewage hose carefully through, as well as the water hose. 
and the electrical plug for connection. Okay, slowly and gently push your dishwasher in and pull on the lines here. Okay, now we can go ahead and make our attachments. Let's do the sewage hose first. And for that, we're going to need the clip. All right, so I've got this clip on here and I'm just going to slide this sewage hose on here on that nipple, just like that. And squeeze the clip with my pliers. Put it down here on that connection. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and reattach my water line here. Make sure not to forget your washer. That way you will have a good connection without any leaks. Now we can install this aqua stop. And I love these aqua stops because what these do is there's a counter in here, a water counter. And if it notices that water is coming through here without the dishwasher actually expecting any water, it's going to shut off the valve so that you don't end up with a flood in your kitchen. And this also does come with this black gasket inside. So all you have to do is screw it on there. Righty tighty lefty loosey. This is a nice one. These newer ones come with these fins so that you can tighten it enough without the need for channel locks. Okay, before we turn the water on, let's just make sure that everything is nice and tight. Okay, don't see any leaks there. We can turn it on to the dishwasher. No leaks there, perfect. And what you can do is put down a piece of paper towel and just make sure that when you come back that the paper towel is not wet. So we're just gonna leave it there for now. Okay, before we plug in the unit, let's go ahead and mount the mounting harnesses and get it in place. Okay, so this is how the mounting harnesses go on, just like that. And we've got these Torx screws to screw them in place. Excellent. Oh, very nice. Okay, now we can push the dishwasher in place nice and gently. And now we are also in deep enough that we can screw the dishwasher in, but we do have to raise it up. You see that there's a gap there in between. So let's go ahead and raise it up here first in the back and then we will raise up the front. So to raise up the back, that one back there, just turn this spindle here. It's attached to the back. And now we can use a wrench to raise up each side. All right, now it's time to mount the dishwasher with the brackets to, to your kitchen. And luckily we already have two holes in place from the previous dishwasher. But if you don't have holes in place, then you're going to have to drill a couple with a small drill bit. Okay, now we are mounted and you can see that the dishwasher is nice and stable. And now we can finally plug it in. Excellent. Oh, and look at that. This one has got a laser pointing down. How cool is that? We have to put some salt in the bottom as well, as well as some drying agent here. And in a later part of this video or in a different video, I will put the front on, but it's all ready functional. All right, guys, now our nice new Bosch dishwasher is installed. This one, by the way, was made in Poland and it cost me right around 500. I'm gonna put a product link in the description below. If you pay a few hundred more, you can get one that's made in Germany. Now, if you would like to know how to put this top on, just check your directions. There will be a template in there. Otherwise, maybe I can make another video. Let me know if you would like that in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please give me a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Bye now.